Hello, this video is about tilting level, which is also known as engineer's level. First, I will introduce the basic components of tilting level. After that, I will describe the functions of tilting level. A leveling instrument is the basic instrument used in surveying to measure the elevation of the point. There are two types of leveling instruments, namely the tilting level and the dumpy level. However, in this video, our focus is on the tilting level. First of all, let me introduce some basic concepts. As you can see, the horizontal and vertical axes are the two main axes of the instrument. The line of sight is another important concept, which is commonly known as the line of collimation. The line of collimation is not rigidly attached to the instrument. As the name implies, the tilting level can slightly tilt its line of collimation in the vertical plane. The telescope is supported by a central pivot which allows a small vertical movement. The vertical movement can be done using the tilting screw underneath the telescope. This tilting screw enables the telescope to be precisely leveled before each staff reading without altering the height of the telescope. First, we will try to understand the basic components and the functions of the tilting level. The telescope is a focusing instrument which has four main parts. Eyepiece, objective lens, diaphragm, focusing screw. The lens near the eye is called the eyepiece lens. The lens fixed onto the far end is called the objective lens. The diaphragm is a small adjustable aperture that is used to control the amount of light that enters the telescope. A diaphragm is fixed with the telescope just in front of the eyepiece and it carries the crosshairs which are perpendicular to each other. These crosshairs are used to bisect the object through the objective lens. The focusing screw is used to adjust the image clarity of the object. This telescope is mounted on the vertical spindle of level and it can rotate through 360 degrees about vertical axis in horizontal plane. The vertical spindle is located at the center of the whole instrument. The telescope can be rotated in the horizontal direction with respect to the vertical spindle. A tilting level has two bubbles a circular bubble on the upper plate to achieve approximate levelling by means of the three levelling of foot screws. A telescope bubble or a tube bubble to be levelled for each sighting by the tilting screw only. This is the levelling head and it contains two parallel triangular plates. The upper plate is known as tribrach and the lower plate is the trivet plate which can be screwed onto the tripod. The trivet plate is connected to the trivet by leveling screws or foot screws which can adjust the tribrack plate. The trivet is already fixed in horizontal plane therefore the horizontal level of the instrument can be achieved by adjusting the tribrack plate. Foot screws are provided to regulate the tribrack position and hence the instrument can be levelled. By turning the foot screws, the tribrack can be raised or lowered to bring the circular bubble to the centre.
telescope can only rotate in the horizontal plane, clamp and tangent screws are used to control its rotation. Use the horizontal clamp screw to sight the target approximately and then use the tangent screw to bisect the target exactly. In this part, I am going to demonstrate the step-by-step -step process of using a tilting level from setting up the instrument to measuring the elevation. Let's get into the content. There are three important temporary adjustments for the tilting level. These adjustments are needed to be made at each setting of the instrument before taking the reading. The three important temporary adjustments of a leveling instrument are setting up and centering, leveling and elimination of parallax. Let's begin with the setting up and centering process of a tilting level. Initial step is to place the tripod over the ground. Keep it in your mind, it's always preferred to set the tripod high at your chest level. Then, take out the instrument from the box. Place the leveling instrument on top of the tripod and fix using the screw. After finish the setting up process, fix the tripod legs firmly against the ground. Then, approximately center the circular bubble using this tripod legs. The correct level of the instrument is done using these three leveling screws or foot screws regarding the circular bubble. Now let's see how to level the leveling instrument. First set the leveling screws in a halfway through to minimize the difficulties in leveling. Then turn the telescope and keep the horizontal axis of the telescope parallel to two of any leveling screws. Hold these two leveling screws like this between thumb and the pointing finger and turn them uniformly either inwards or outwards until bring the circular bubble to the center. Then rotate a telescope through 90 degrees. Now the line of collimation passes over the third leveling screw. After that, turn the third leveling screw to bring the bubble to the center. Then turn back the telescope to its original position. After that, Rotate the first two leveling screws either inwards or outwards to bring the circular bubble to the center. Repeat the above steps till the bubble is centered in both positions. Now you can see here the bubble is centered 
in both positions. Parallax is a situation which happens when the image formed by the object is not in the plane of the crosshairs. To ensure the accurate sighting, we should do the elimination of parallax. As you see in the figure, parallax can be eliminated in two ways. Focusing of eyepiece and focusing of object. Now all the temporary adjustments have been completed and the instrument is ready to be used. Before take the height measurement, we have to level the U-bubble attached to the telescope. Adjust this tilting screw to bring the two ends of the U-bubble to coincide in a position. This adjustment should be done before taking every reading to ensure the accuracy of the reading. At this stage, all the temporary adjustments have been completed. Let's do this through a simple exercise. In this picture, we need to measure the elevation of the soffit from the floor level at point A. To do this, first position the instrument at point S which is far away from point A. Then hold the leveling staff at point A in upright position and take the reading H upright. After that, hold the leveling staff in inverted position and take the reading H inverted. The addition of these two readings, H upright and H inverted, will give the height of the soffit from the floor level. So now, let's summarize what we have learned today. The instrument that we used is the tilting level. First, the basic components and its functions were explained. Then it was demonstrated how to do the temporary adjustments. I want to emphasize two things before wind up this video. Firstly, after use this instrument, unclamp all the screws to avoid the damages due to vibration. Secondly, do not leave the instrument alone and protect the instrument during the adverse weather condition. Especially during the train, use the umbrella to cover the instrument. Thank you for watching the video.